photography wall TV. JB Photography Walk TV and welcome to Melbourne, Australia, the most livable city in the world. Today we're going to show you five places that you can photograph in walking distance from here, Federation Square, in less than five minutes. That's five places, five photos, five minutes. Let's go! Woo! I'm super excited to start my first photography workshop with the DJB Photography School. It's about time I finally learned how to use my digital camera. If you're in Melbourne, Sydney, Perth, Brisbane, Auckland or New York, you can come along as well. This is Dan from DJB Photography. He's going to tell us what we need to do because I don't know how to use this. Well, first of all, turn your camera on. Okay. The first step. <laughs> I'm going to introduce to Amelia, our amazing photography mentor in Melbourne, right here. Should we just give her a big group hug, everyone? Yeah! yeah. yeah. Group hug. Our first stop is the Eureka Tower and we're here to photograph the giant bees nestled on the lower levels. We're just a six minute walk from Fed Square standing on the north side of the tower. This is Melbourne's tallest building and was the world's tallest residential tower until Dubai decided to one up on us. Dan, how do I shoot these bees? They look awesome, but how do I get it on here? So there's two things you can do here with these bees. You wanna, first of all, if you've got a zoom lens, the first thing you can do is zoom right in. So see that little bee down there? That guy's sort of by himself. That'll be a nice one. You can sort of zoom in if you have a zoom lens, zoom in to show him by himself. Okay. And the other thing you can do is zoom back out and you want to show these bees in context. So you want to show them against the building. So in the building, so you can sort of get an idea about their environment. Oh, that's awesome. <laughs> I'm actually really proud of myself. <laughs> Next stop, DeGrave Street, where we'll sample some of Melbourne's iconic hidden street art and laneways. DeGrave Street is a cobbled bluestone alley that runs north from Flinders Street to Flinders Lane. Don't forget to look up and check out the 1930s Mallorca House building. <laughs> DeGrave Street, I love it! So, what am I looking out for here? So, here's the thing with DeGrave Street, okay? We, in Melbourne, we just love little cafes, we love laneways. DeGrave Street is all about the little details, okay? okay? So look at these beautiful little cafes around here. The little bookstore just here, it's literally called the little book room. There's always something different in this window. Every single time I come here, there's something different. So, and the lighting is really nice in there as well. So you want to get up close, have a look at the little details in all these places. And also, when you get about halfway down, there's some beautiful street art that sort of crosses in the middle. All right. So check that out as well. Sweet, little book room, I'm there. Melbourne street art is a huge part of our urban culture and some pieces have become internationally renowned. The City of Melbourne will even approve permits for street art, with the building owner's permission, of course. So make sure you keep an eye out when wandering the laneways, as it's always changing. Next stop, Flinders Street Station. As soon as you land in Melbourne, Flinders Street Station is pretty much impossible to miss. It is just beautiful and it dates back to 1910. I want to make it look good. How do I do it? <laughs> That's pretty old. Okay, so a couple of things. First of all, we actually arrived here at the perfect time. Like you can see right now, the lights are just starting to come on. What we want to do here is get down low. Get down low. So you want to get down low, shoot up, and hopefully we'll wait for a taxi, a nice yellow Melbourne taxi to come past. Daniel was right about changing a perspective for this shot. Taking photographs from head height all the time really is pretty boring. Getting down low makes a much more dramatic image. I found the key here was patience. I wanted to capture an iconic Melbourne taxi driving through the intersection to give me the vibe I was after. Next stop, the secret DJB rooftop. Welcome, <laughs> welcome to our super sexy secret smashing rooftop. I love it, it's but very cool up here. Keep it on the down low. Okay. Keep it on the down low. There's one major reason why I wanted to take you here. Okay. And that's because of this amazing piece of artwork here. Now, 
I believe you did a bit of research about this guy. Oh, He's I an did. awesome artist. <laughs> so <laughs> what I read was is the artist's name is Adnate and it's called Aboriginal Boy. And Aboriginal Boy's eyes actually look towards Birang Ma. Oh, so it's a pretty cool. special piece of art and it's massive. Yeah. It's absolutely huge. On the know. back, I think it's the McDonald's building there. So yeah, very, very cool piece of art. I know, check it out. Well, look at this photograph. This is one that I prepared earlier. Yeah, so that's you'll unreal. notice like this is why we we take people here at this time because the sun's gone down the lights have started to come on you can see in the background here and we get this cool sort of cityscape photograph beautiful it's isn't very it very cool Should you know we, what what what's up <laughs> i'm just wondering <laughs> do you think i would be able to actually replicate I think you could. that we're gonna let's, let's try it let's okay. do it right now okay right, we'll give it a go I actually think I might be a little bit of a pro photographer now. I know, those shots are amazing. Oh, well done. Yeah, yeah, thank you. Pretty good stuff. Where are we off to? We're going to go to our final spot. Okay. We've got about five more minutes of sunlight and we better get out of here. All right, should we grab the crew? Yeah, let's get them. Guys, let's go. Sweet, let's All go. Right, let's get out of here. When visiting a new city, we all really want to capture that one iconic photograph to share with our friends. Well, this is the place. It's also a great spot to just sit back and watch the sunset over the most livable city in the world. The Rialto, the Eureka Tower, the beautiful Yarra River, and the Art Centre actually as well. So this is why we call this iconic Melbourne. So come down here to take this photograph at sunset. It's the best time to take it. Daniel told me to zoom out and underexpose my image a little here, which means simply make it darker than you would normally. That's it guys, thank you so much for watching this episode of DJB Photo Walk TV. You can download your free Photo Walk map at the DJB Photography School website. Thank you for having me. You're welcome. High yeah. five. Yes. <laughs>